Now the only thing that is remaining in 3D modeling are revolve, sweep, loft and emboss. In this lecture, we will be discussing about sweep and loft. These tools have not been included in basic, intermediate, advanced or even in miscellaneous because they are very special tools and they need a dedicated lecture, a dedicated tutorial. Now let's begin. So here we have certain sketch entities for sweep and loft. So let's begin with sweep. So basically for creating a sweep, you need a cross sectional area with a sketch obviously and you need a path for the same. Let's create sweep. You have to first select the profile and then you have to select the path. And as you can see, a sweep is created and this creates a 3D object with this particular cross section area, area or the uh, profile that you have initially created. It extrudes it outwards basically. It just don't only do that. It does so much more that we will be discussing. Let's create this one. So as soon as I created that, a new body has been created, this one. So we can rename it. You can also double click here to rename it. Let's rename it as sweep body here also. Next is loft. For loft, we need two profiles. One is this profile from which the loft will be created and the end profile also. So let's create a loft, select the first profile, select the second profile and the loft is created between these two cross section. Initially it was a rectangle and finally it was a circle. So now what's the difference between a sweep and loft? The basic difference is that sweep need a cross section, single profile and a path whereas loft needs basically two profiles. Now in sweep, when we, let's say, edit this feature, we can adjust the extent up to which sweep command is going to be acted. But the same thing is not possible with loft. One more thing is there in sweep, we can provide twisting effect. From this twist angle, let's say, let's make it 90, then it will be twisted like this, let's make it 180. But the same thing is not possible with loft, let's control Z. Now let's have a section analysis from inspect toolbar in order to understand what is happening in sweep and loft. Now this will be discussed in the coming lectures but for the sake of this particular uh, concept we are using section analysis of inspect toolbar. So let's select any face. Let's start dragging it all the way. So as you can see in sweep the cross sectional area is uniform but in loft what is happening initially it's a rectangle and gradually it is very smoothly turning to a circle but sweep is constant so these are the major difference between sweep and loft in the next lecture we will understand about revolve and emboss thank you so much